Hello friends, it's me Terhi Koskinen here and I'm doing a, or creating a mini album today. Um, I have this vision about a really really small mini album and I'm using Paper Nova Design Serenity uh, collection which is the newest one and I really really love this pink paper so I needed to make a super small mini book uh, by using it to the covers. Uh, I have always wanted to try to make uh, out of scratch <laughs> these really soft albums but um, I really don't like using cloth to the covers so I'm <laughs> trying to use these um, really old fleece cotton. I don't even know what it is, but some kind of cloth. It's really a uh, soft, thick cloth. Uh, so I'm using it on top of the cardstock, and then I'm going to glue um, the paper on top of that so the design is looking soft, but it's paper. It would be really nice to uh, give you all some kind of um, insight to touch it and feel it, how it feels, but um, I like that. I really like that and um, I'm going to do this again, but maybe with less of the cloth because I used two layers of the fleece and <laughs> it's really much, so it, it didn't work as well as I liked, but um, if you want to repeat this mini album you can skip this part. You can only use um, the cardstock and paper, it will work perfectly, I know that. Um, but if you are ex <laughs> if you want to ex experience some new things, go ahead and try. It's always fun to try out new things, even though um, all the new things are not necessarily good. But it's good to show that um, I'm doing this because um, maybe it gives you some courage to try out even things that you don't um, know that will be really good or really bad. Don't use any ideas if you know it's really bad. Anyway, back to this process. Um, try out even though you don't know it will be perfect and good. Try out and you will learn. Um, anyway, that's how I have learned all the things from my paper craft career, if you can say it career. Um, I always want to try out and then <laughs> it will work or not. Um, so I'm gluing down the paper to be the cover um, and I'm using this uh, folding it's actually from Via Memory Keepers. It's um, multi tool with this cutting and folding and some punches. And, yeah. uh, this will be the inside of the mini book. It's going to be um, quite long, and I don't want to make pages. I want to make it like this. Ta-da! I hope you like it. Uh, it's, it's always fun to make some kind of uh, things that look familiar, like this mini book will um, look like a book, but when you open it, it kind of pops up. <laughs> so um, I thought about making first normal pages, but then I decided to make this way because it looks so much better when it's super tiny. The pages are like two and a half by two and a half inch, maybe a little less. I can give you the exact measures, but um, anyway, it's super tiny. Uh, for the inside of the covers, I'm using normal paper. This is a lovely. Um, Paper again from Paper Nobody Sign. Okay, I need to say all these papers I'm using today is from Paper Nobody Signs. So 
I don't need to repeat that all the time. Um, most of the papers are from the Serenity collection, like this one, but on the cover there are a couple of flowers that are from Respiro, I don't know how to say it in English, but anyway, um, from the previous spring collection from last year, I think. So there are a couple of um, blooms from there, but everything is, else is from Serenity. I used quite a lot of ribbon for, um, at this part of the process, but um, then I decided that I want to add some more, something more soft. Anyway, um, <laughs> the soft is kind of the theme for this book. So I decided to uh, add some thread for the numbers I made with some dies I had. Um, this took some time to make them, oh my gosh, uh, like really, don't try this at home, again I'm saying don't try this at home, um, or try if you have some time, but I didn't reala realize how much time it would take to um, make all these numbers. Um, my daughter in the pictures is 10, 10 years old and I'm using one number in each page, even though it isn't any way attached to the idea of that she is 10 and working a day with me at my office. Um, but I wanted to use the numbers anyway, they are quite nice element in addition to all these flowers and Blooms and dragonflies and butterflies and anyway, um, so I made all those numbers and it took time, but I didn't record it on video. It would be really really boring to look at that kind of process video. And again, while I did all these pages one by one, I used quite a lot of. 3D foam and um, then also added some glue here and there to make it like really stick on the spot where I put it. Um, usually these mini books are something to touch, otherwise like scrapbook layouts they are in the album and usually covered with plastic, but these elements in mini book pages, well, some don't touch them <laughs> much while watching, but for example me, when I'm flipping through a mini book, I always touch the pages. So I want to make sure that if, for example, my daughter is going through this mini album, I want to make sure that it sticks together so that I don't have to be like, oh, don't touch it, it's so... Don't, don't do that, oh, be careful. I don't want to be that kind of mother. I want to make it last. So, lots of glue and tape and foam tape. So, here I attach the inside to the covers and as you can see, it's in one part because it's much easier to make this way and then I'm going to add some similar elements on the cover that is inside on the pages. Some leaves and some blooms and well quite a lot of blooms, quite a lot of fuzzy cutting which is quite a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you really liked this, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm really happy to answer. And also, if you are trying this at home, have fun, experiment, experiment. It's it's super cool to try out some new things. Here in the end of this video, you can see a flip through part of the. Um, finished mini book, 
so if you want to <laughs> have a look and have some and um, thank you for watching it was super nice to make a mini book uh, again and I can't wait to make a new video as well so thanks for watching and bye